How to treat arrhythmia in WPW syndrome recalls that WPW syndrome induces rhythm disorder, which called atrioventricular reentrant tachycardia, or AVRT. There are two types of AVRT, orthodromic AVRT, when impulse goes to the ventricle through the AV node and comes back to the atria through the bypass track. On ACG, it represents as regular tachycardia with normal QRS complex. The second type is antidromic AVRT. When impulse goes to the ventricle through the bypass tract and comes back to the atria through the AV node, ACG in this case represents regular tachycardia with wide QRS complex. If any of this type of AVRT is hemodynamically unstable, which suggests any of the following hypotension, acutely altered mental status, signs of shock, ischemic chest discomfort, or acute heart failure, in these cases, synchronized cardioversion is recommended. Now the clock lives. More smoke. Clear. If there are no symptoms of hemodynamic instability, you should start from vagal maneuvers, especially from modified valsalva maneuver or rarely from carotid sinus massage. If this is ineffective, in case of orthodromic AVRT, usage of intravenous adenosine is recommended. If adenosine is ineffective too, usage of intravenous verapamil or diltiazem or intravenous beta blockers, but in absence of decompensated heart failure, should be considered. If all of above is ineffective too, synchronized cardioversion is recommended. In case of antidromic AVRT, if vagal maneuvers are not effective, usage of intravenous ibutilide or procainamide or propafenon or flecainide or synchronized cardioversion should be considered. Clear.